Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some exciting news coming from the guys at Anima. So the guys at Anima, they are constantly working on their 3D software, which is heavily for crowd simulation and also for architectural visualization, especially if you want to throw in those crowds and get those beautiful things out of it. But then they are not just looking towards that part as they are also looking at expanding the possibilities that this software can actually do. So today we have a couple of news from them, which we're definitely going to talk about. First off, there is a very clean new ready post 3D people that is now available. It is a collection of mannequins that you can now throw directly into your scene and get some pretty cool stuff happening so if you are into architectural visualization or maybe you're creating an animation piece and you actually want some of these things right there you can simply come through grab these things and start working with them now these are static images which are just 3d posed objects and you cannot actually animate them at this point point. and speaking about things that you can animate they also have a pretty cool stuff which you would find interesting so remember the last time we talked about the guys from anima we did talk about the 4D characters that they have. And a lot of people were just asking, what do you mean by 4D? What 4D is, is a 3D mesh, which is exactly what you're seeing on the screen. But then time has been captured alongside textures and also mesh. Okay, so the mesh is captured, the time is captured, and also textures are also captured across. So you can see that we have that visual fidelity in terms of what you would literally want to see your 3D model doing. So instead of spending time trying to figure out how to animate a chef, you can simply come here, download the chef, throw it directly into your 3D visualization scene, and you have that going. If you're spending time thinking of, you know, you're looking for a guy, you want to just throw in there, construction worker, instead of thinking about how this construction workout would be textured animated all of that stuff you now have a lifelike looking 3d model that would sell your scene but that is not all most times when you hear about stuff like this you might be thinking that maybe the visual fidelity it's going to affect performance and stuff what they've done in the recent installment of this is they've actually worked on the performance now performance for these things are now even way better than before now what i mean by that is there is now some increased level of details that can now happen so once the camera is far from the object is no longer affecting the performance of both your cpu and gpu and of course you can see how beautiful this is and you know thinking about having 10 to 15 of these in your scene you might be having that question something else which they've also done is they've worked on how the whole thing works so we talked about them before when we said they found a way to dial down all of these which by default should run into gigs but they've dialed all of these things down to less than 200 megabytes and you can see for yourself how clean this is this is something that would take you time to create now while we're talking about this you may want to try this for yourself and the reason why you want to try it is because you know to a point it looks too good to be true and that is why we're jumping into the third news for today the third news from them is they have a release candidate that is now available so if you want to try this you want to grab this you want to play with it yes you can you can simply go over to the link in the description you can grab this one you can play with it and you can start doing some pretty cool stuff with it this is totally for free it's a release candidate you can try it it's still within its beta version so if you want to run this through your unreal engine you know cinema 4d 3d studio max maya so on and so forth yes you can actually start getting up and running with this stuff now one thing to keep in mind is the ones which you're going to be getting is the anima light the animal light comes for free so you can simply get this and start working with it and there's a couple of things that you can do with them first things which i would also like to talk to you guys about is mode of use is extremely easy so we've already covered this one before but just in case just just in case if you want to create things like parts you want to create elevators you want to create you know sit down positions where people just sit down you want to create positions where the crowd gets to avoid or maybe you want to create some sort of traffic system you can simply create all of this and creating this is very easy actually because all you need to do is just click get to position that you want click drop this on different position and maybe a position like so and once you're done right click and that's all you have to do and if you have a couple of characters like this you can simply drag them and drop directly here so we have this rigged character happening there and we can also grab let's grab a female and drop that female character Character right about a point like that and that is how easy it is all you need to do is press the playback button and you have characters working importing your own models into this place is extremely easy as they have all of those third-party plugins that would get you these things happening really really quick 
And if you want to play with the 40 characters that are available, yep, you can. So the 40 characters are characters that you probably would have to purchase. So these are, you know, pretty high fidelity characters and you can see for what they are that they're pretty, pretty nice. So you can just have these ones, throw them directly into your scene and you can see how beautiful this is. Yeah, and this is definitely about it. This is the update from them link to all of the news and all of the things that they've talked about is going to be in the description so you can check it out if you're looking at reading more about the development stage and all of the development processes you can also go over to the link in the description and check them out and you can also see some pretty cool stuff right here tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and i'll like see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this Peace.